Hey everybody and welcome back to another Max Velocity weather forecast and in today's forecast we'll be talking about a big storm that could be on our horizon as we go into next week that could bring a multitude of impacts including the potential for severe weather, heavy rainfall, maybe even some snow to go along with it and other wintry weather and potentially another big cool down. I'll be giving you the latest breakdown on everything that you need to know in this forecast but let's begin with what's happening across the United States today and and we'll first begin with the Midwest, which has been a pretty interesting area over the past 24 to 48 hours. We saw some thunder snow. We saw upwards of two dozen water spouts that have at least been confirmed to this point across parts of the Great Lakes. And this is all from a very interesting weather setup where we had a clipper come out of Canada. It dropped down to the south and east and it actually brought some snowfall. We saw as much as 12 inches of snow in parts of Michigan because of lake effect snow. So again, really crazy stuff across parts of the Great Lakes, which lake effect snow happens a lot more during this time of the year than it does really during any other time of the year at least across the Great Lakes because the temperatures in the water are so much warmer and the surface temperatures are so much colder it just creates that little dynamic setup but again we saw some water spouts we also saw some thunder snow along with that a bit of a rare phenomenon which we don't see very often it happens for most areas maybe at most of once a year but even then I've had viewers telling me that they've seen it maybe 10 times over 60 years which again it means it's pretty rare overall to even see it at least in a given location now for the rest to the United States, we have a little bit of other interesting activity ongoing. Just for reference, by the way, this low pressure system, it has weakened out. We really don't have much rain activity with that anymore. Across the Great Plains, overall pretty dry. Some passing clouds across the Central Plains, but again, nothing crazy. It's nice, quiet across the United States. The Southeast, including Florida, just had that strong cold front roll through today. It is much colder, much windier as well across much of Florida and the Southeast United States, and freezing temperatures will be possible as far south as potentially the Florida Panhandle tonight so be mindful I'll show you more details on that here in just a moment west coast of the United States not much activity there right now but it will change over the next few days and this will start to alter the weather across the rest of the United States as we go into this weekend and next week with atmospheric rivers returning to the Pacific Ocean so some interesting stuff there in terms of the watches and warnings across the United States we have a really large area across the east coast and the southern tier that we need to talk about a little bit so as of tonight we have a huge freeze warned area this extends from new york and new jersey back into texas fun fact it includes five counties in florida for tonight it basically borders alabama so again make sure to check your local national weather service but it's that area right in here that is currently included in freeze warnings this is a rarity for november especially early november it does not happen very often where we have freeze warnings far south as florida just crazy stuff there overall so make sure if you're in those areas are protecting sense of vegetation and across this entire region anywhere in that purple shaded region make sure you're protecting sets of vegetation and as well as pets as well now in terms of the temperatures overnight tonight we have a huge freezing line that extends all the way down into the carolina coast it does extend into parts of the florida panhandle and it goes into parts of southern louisiana it almost reaches the gulf coast in louisiana as well which again rare it does not happen very often this is well below normal for what we're seeing and also into florida temperatures will range tomorrow morning from the 30s into the 70s what in the world is going on there i don't know it's it's crazy weather across florida which it sometimes is like that so again temperatures ranging from the 30s to the 70s you can drive four hours and you'll be in a completely different climate zone all right talking about the jet stream and the weather pattern across the united states a lot of changes are coming as of right now the jet stream is not very organized we really don't have an organized area and that's mainly because we don't have any big disturbances in the united states including there's really no high pressure systems that are very strong at least in the upper levels at the surface it's a bit of a different story and you'll see that later in this forecast uh, but by the time we get to Saturday into Sunday things are going to start to change a little bit so we will have a little bit of ridging as we go into Saturday into Sunday so a little bit of a ridge here but overall again nothing too crazy by then warmer temperatures will be in the forecast for this weekend across the, the majority of the lower 48 by the time we get to Monday into Tuesday we're gonna have a trough develop across parts of the United States now it doesn't really resemble much on the jet stream but when we look at the surface space stuff you're gonna see a lot better but there will be a trough over the United States it'll bring the chance for some showers and storms on the eastern tier of the United States including the potential even for maybe some snowfall so a lot of stuff to watch for there one thing I want to mention though before I show you that surface-based activity is the atmospheric rivers we 
have a load of low pressure systems over the Pacific Ocean. Notice one just west of Washington, another one near Alaska. Again, there's a lot of them. And this is going to alter our weather for the next several days with a strong surface-based high across much of the lower 48. This will actually prevent most of that activity from reaching the United States. It's one key thing with all this activity. It's really not going to even really impact much of the West Coast. The only area would be for the Pacific Northwest, where there actually could be some isolated localized flooding, but nothing too major. One of these troughs will make it to the United States, at least enough energy in the Northern Plains, where by Sunday into Monday, we'll have a low pressure system over parts of the Midwest. So again, a multiple things to watch for as we go into this upcoming weekend and next week. And again, I'll show you that here in just a second. Let's get through the temperature anomalies, though, which right now we are well below normal on temperatures across the United States. Now, as we get to this weekend, it's going to change pretty rapidly because one of the biggest things that we're watching for is a high pressure system to dominate across the United States. And with high pressure systems, it brings drier and warmer trends, meaning we're going to see warmer weather overall. By the time we get to Monday, warmer weather, upwards of 10, 15, 20 degrees above normal. So we could be talking about record breaking high temperatures by the time we get to Monday and maybe even into Tuesday, which again, we've been dealing with near record breaking low temperatures. So we're going to flip the script a little bit as we go into Monday and really even into Sunday of this upcoming week. Now, in terms of the precipitation across the United States, the future radar, all that sort of stuff, we right now have a high pressure system that's based at the surface across much of the lower 48, keeping many areas dry. But once we go into the late weekend, that's when things get a little bit more interesting. So by Sunday, we'll be watching for enough energy to kind of come out of one of these atmospheric rivers, so over the northern plains, to actually bring some showers and maybe even some snow showers to parts of the upper Midwest. No severe weather out of this. This is not a severe weather setup by any means because it's just so far up to the north and it's pretty cold. Obviously, we have some snow here, but uh, there might be some snowfall, but most of it right now looks to be staying out of the United States. So Canada might see a bit of a winter storm out of that. Maybe Maine, but again, we're still about six to seven days out, so things might change just a little bit. By the time we get to Tuesday into Wednesday, things change a little bit differently here. So by actually late Wednesday into Thursday, that is when we're going to see a potential for a trough to eject out of the Rocky Mountains. So when this happens, when we have a trough go over the Rocky Mountains, it gets a bit more dynamic of a setup where we see some shear involved, which could lead to some severe weather. Also, there's a lot more energy since it's further down to the south with a strong southerly wind that'll pull moisture out of the Gulf of Mexico. So it creates a setup where we could see some severe weather and perhaps some snowfall. So as we go later into Thursday, notice this low pressure system intensifies, moves pretty quickly over the Ohio Valley with perhaps some snow as well, and then potentially a winter storm for the Northeast. But I want to remind you, this is about eight to nine days out from now. So things are bound to change. They have changed a little bit, actually, in terms of timing with this. It was originally potentially going to happen on Tuesday or Wednesday. Now it's closer to Thursday or Friday. So just keep that in mind. Things are probably going to change. But one thing that's almost almost more certain than not will, that will happen would be this system in the upper Midwest. So there will at least be some rainfall there but snowfall looks pretty minimal right now. In terms of the instability that could feel severe weather, the European model is spitting out that there will be enough instability for severe weather in the Southern Plains by Thursday and perhaps going into late Thursday across parts of the um, Ohio Valley, maybe the Mississippi Valley. But again, we're still very far out, so things definitely could change. Here's the dew points going into that time frame. Notice we're gonna have a lot more moisture um, in, on Monday, but that's not really when we're watching for the more significant event. It would be probably closer to Thursday where the dew points are in the 60s across parts of the Southern Plains and as well as parts of the Ohio Valley. So stay tuned. We'll keep you posted with the latest if anything changes here. But again, this could be our next big storm. So stay tuned. We'll keep you posted. Make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you've not already.